Everybody, good morning. It's Pete. Welcome to today's best stock picks. It is Thursday, May 7, 2020, and we're going to get right into it. Uh, futures are actually trading higher today. Uh, so what we're going to focus on are stocks that have been relatively strong recently and specifically yesterday. We're going to focus on one sector and individual stocks within that sector. Uh, as far as earnings today, really just watching Uber today, but the big earnings are the ones that have occurred recently that are super tradable right now. And I'm gonna, why I'm going to say that and why we're going to focus on one sector today is because the market in general, uh, the bigger picture has been a little bit frustrating. As we've mentioned before, I call that a PCOT, which is a potential change of trend, which you want to write this down. A potential change of trend is where money goes to die. So you absolutely need to spot both in the market and your individual stocks uh, when the market has stopped going in a particular direction for an extended period of time. The obvious question is, how long do you know an extended period of time is? Well, you don't really recognize the beginning part of it because it could still technically be a pause. But when it starts to move out to weeks, that's, that's a different scenario. So um, the market, I'm going to take a look at, we're going to look at one news story that has the market bouncing this morning, um, which is ironic. It's completely opposite of where we closed yesterday, two days in a row of selling into the close. Very old stock trading maxim that the open is controlled by the retail because of all the overnight orders. The close is controlled by the smart money. So we have a higher opening today. We'll show you why in a second, but what's going to be interesting is how the market trades again into the close today. We're starting to see in a lot of individual stocks uh, and especially over the last week or so where we are closing below the open with regularity, never mind closing on the low. So again, remember we talk about reading the whole song versus reading the individual notes. The whole song might be the order flow over a few months, but the individual notes now the last few days, uh, specifically the last few weeks, dive into those charts a little bit without any moving averages on it and you'll be shocked um, at how many you'll notice now. You won't be able to unsee it <laughs> at some point where how many of those stocks are actually now closing below the open despite the fact that they're not trading down but something different is happening. Now, does that mean we just start short selling or getting out of trades we're profitable on? No, you should be trailing up your profitable trades. And if it pulls back down to a level, you get out of that position because you are ahead of the curve instead of waiting for it to happen later and reacting. You always want to plan and be acting on your plan as opposed to, oh gosh, what do I do now? You want to be ready before that happens. So we're going to get right into the charts. Um, jobless claims today, obviously going to be a big number uh, to pay attention to. It's not supposed to be good. Um, so again, just uh, relative strength, um, technology has been strong. So we're going to focus on tech stocks today. I know that was only one day performance, but if you look at the um, previous video that we just did, we mentioned a couple of, uh, we mentioned the trade that was a couple of setups where the market closed weak and, this, and a particular stock closed strong, market bounced the next day and the stock um, took off. So the reason I'm pointing this out today is uh, the market was weak yesterday. This sector, tech sector, which we've been calling like crazy in our coaching um, room, uh, was really, really good to trade the last few days. And um, you can see why. So market was weak yesterday. The sector was strong. Uh, we're going to focus on those stocks um, today. So we're going to get a little bit into why the market's bouncing today. And again, we don't really like to focus on the why. We like to focus more on let's trade it um, and reading the tape. China trade relief. Uh, as just a staggering, staggering number of reversal from what was expected. Um, so what ends up happening here is this is what we're looking at now overnight. Uh, very good question by Sari over, uh, over the weekend. Do we actually trade these pre-market numbers, uh, pre-market levels? I don't necessarily trade them as much as I want to know what they were so I could trade around them. Uh, so in other words, what was the pre-market low? What was the pre-market high? For those of you that don't trade pre-market, completely different game. It's not liquid at all, very difficult to trade. Um, but you do need to know where stocks stopped. So whether you wanna draw lines or you just wanna set alerts, uh, that's kind of important because especially if there was good pre-market volume or unusual pre-market volume, which will tend to happen during earnings season, especially the uh, morning of the announcement and or something that announced after into today, you'll see some activity. So you know, for Twilio, for example, will be one of them. Uh, so I just want to mention some stocks that um, are tradable uh, from a earnings perspective where I'm seeing follow through where we've been able to participate in them. I know I've mentioned JP Morgan as a short-term trade. Every rally in JP Morgan has been a short sale. 
um, as well as we've been doing the same exact thing in Starbucks. So we're looking for some follow through there. And think about what I'm saying here as well. Remember what I just said about the closes? You can't unsee this once you see it. Look at how many closes now below the open compared to what we were seeing on the way up. Um, so uh, let's see, Beyond, BYND is another one. Again, these are earnings related trades that I'm looking for follow through, looking to participate in. Uh, Peloton was another big one, obviously, but this is a big one here because it broke through this level. It was having a really hard time at this 36, 37 level. We said set an alert for 38. We want to see it close above there. And it's actually up at 4380 right now. So we're looking for some follow through there as well. A thing, a big thing I want to talk about is you, know, you see these trades, you see the calls, you want to trade them when they're staying higher. So I, I, what I do is I look for a buy stop above the market. I, want to, I don't want to be the last person in here. Um, I want to see a buy stop above there. So I want it to trade, continue trading in that direction uh, in order for me to get involved in, um, in some of these stocks. <clears throat> Disney is another one that did not have uh, good numbers when earnings came out. And you can, again, you can start to see how often it's closing below the open. So we're actually going to open higher, take a look and see if that's an opportunity for short selling for a swing trade uh, for obvious reasons, right? Uh, Twilio is one that I just mentioned. Uh, really good, but we actually drilled down into the volume, uh, the volume yesterday and look at how much is 30, 26% higher pre-market. So definitely going to be in play today as well. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Etsy and W have continued to pound to the upside. Uh, Etsy had earnings, we're getting some profit taking today, but it's going to be in play. So just the fact they're selling lower, it doesn't mean to avoid the stock. And you can see that in shop. Shop had that big reversal and now it continues to trade to the upside. So make sure you have these stocks in your tracking journal you don't want to miss when they continue to follow through because they're in play uh, square actually took a hit and what's actually interesting is square and paypal pypl two completely different um trading opportunities look at all the green candles and the strong closes in paypal and you're seeing the big jump versus look at square and you're seeing melted candles heading into the earnings and you can see the earnings are trading down so again Reading between the lines before the news actually gets announced. Uh, Costco is another one. Getting some nice uh, movement. Uh, recently reported earnings yesterday. I have not been trading this one as much. It's been so pandemic related uh, from one day to the next. I don't know if you could go there or not. I'm sure most of us do. Uh, they've actually now started to um, uh, put restrictions on how much meat your family can take home per order or not your family per order which will actually affect the next stock we want to take a look at, which is BYND, uh, which is actually opening up higher again too. So BYND, um, we looked at it here. We, we basically said this is the level. It's, it hasn't been able to get through this level last time. You can see it pulled back. But now it's nice, well bid, really solid volume, smack into the middle of the range. We're obviously coming up to resistance level, but here's the thing. Even if it doesn't follow through after today's higher opening, it must be in your list. It's in the news. It's in play. Uh, and it has some good volume. So those are the stocks you want to take a look at and be on top of all the time. So as we said, Uber earnings today, look, continuing to look for some stocks that followed through from yesterday. Uh, Adobe, definitely one. Nice little clean break out there. I want to see this as a, as a um, future trade, though. Not, this is more of a swing trade, looking for a retest and a break of this high, because we're actually now well bid. Uh, we're an inside candlestick well bid two days in a row. It's resistance. If it trades above today's high, I'll look to get involved. Uh, but I don't want to get involved if, it's, if it remains an inside day. Apple and Microsoft, nice to see these guys uh, continuing to push to see new highs. Um, Apple flirted with the 20-day high yesterday. Couldn't break through. Looks like it's going to open above that level today. Microsoft actually did get above 20-day highs, and I'm looking for follow through there as well. Uh, one of the bigger stocks that we traded yesterday that just kept grinding uh, ENPH. When I say bigger, I mean opportunity wise. Uh, really, really solid play. We were looking for it to get above this level, opened and stayed there. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I actually thought it was starting to uh, lose steam over in this area yesterday. We had a nice, really good entry here. Um, as a day trade, made some really good, clean, easier money. Uh, and I didn't participate in the rest of this. Um, whatever happens, right? But full disclosure. Um, what else? Uh, DOC. Uh, nope, that can't be the right one. 
Oh, LVGO. I'm sorry. That was a different list. LVGO was actually called yesterday. And I actually want to end on this uh, for a very particular reason. Somebody, um, in fact, a couple of people yesterday were asking me that if it got up to resistance, would I be shorting the stock because it hasn't been able to get through this level here and here? And basically, here's the answer. If you want to stay out of trouble, never short sell all-time highs. It's just foolish, and you'll get your head handed to you eight times out of 10. The two times won't, trust me, won't <laughs> make up for the other eight because they could be violent reversals. Um, could you point out a couple of uh, stocks that happens on? Absolutely. Is it a smart idea to short resistance at all-time highs? No, I'll actually say it's a dumb idea. <laughs> so we have a pretty good list of stocks that have had earnings recently, earnings uh, today, as we said, is only Uber, jobless claims today, uh, and stick with the tech sector. It looks like they're all going to open higher um, as, it, as they should for the whole reason. The whole point that we pointed it out um, is that they were relatively strong when the market was weak yesterday. So we're going to take a look at those stocks again today looking for follow through, which we're already getting pre-market. It's a question of finding some good entry opportunities. So thanks for joining me on today's best stock picks. Click down, click like, click subscribe. Absolutely leave a comment if you have a stock you'd like to see a review. Have an awesome day, everybody.